and welcome to this introduction to setting up the wireless dot watch to work with the swim train timer so here we have a tablet and we're going to load up Firefox I'm connected to the local uh, to the internet via the home Wi-Fi and I'm going to go to the opensportproject.com website if this is the first time you've used the website you might get a message asking you whether you want to allow offline usage you would say yes to that so that's the website loaded the next stage would be to open the box that you take along to the swimming pool take out the wireless dot watch and the first thing to do would be to switch on the raspberry pi so here you have to plug it into your battery supply and then switch on your battery so this will take a couple of minutes to load um, so this does two things this speaks to your wireless dot watch and this speaks to your um, to your mobile device so while that's booting up you have a wireless dot watch and see it's not switched on for this prototype we have to plug it in so you plug it in there and again when you switch it on it will instantly become active and we'll just run through the basic usage press the right button to start and then the left button is a split button And then the right button to stop and once it's stopped we can reset the counter so quite primitive but simple functionality so the next stage is to go back to our tablet and this time we want to make sure that we're connected to the Raspberry Pi rather than the the home Wi-Fi so we click on settings so we're in our Wi-Fi settings and now you'll notice there's a Wi-Fi settings called called stopwatch and I'm going to select that it then asks me if I want to connect and I would say yes So you'll now see the stopwatch is connected. Now once you've done this once so there's no other internet connection then this should probably automatically happen. So we're now got our tablet connected to the Raspberry Pi so we can go back to our website and here you'll see in the connectivity section it's not connected but, but if we refresh the page we'll now see that the Pi is connected. So we now have the basic connections made. We have the Pi switched on, we have the wireless dot watch switched on, and we have the website connected to both. So now we would record some training set and we've already got some made here, so we'll go back to the start of the month. So here, simple warm up on the main set. Of course, we need to add some swimmers. We can do this a couple of ways. We can do it by lane or by group. So here we have a list of swimmers. And because there's quite a few, we just want to do a simple demo. We can put in the tools and remove some of them. So just leave John. So here we have a training set and a swimmer and now we can take our wireless dot watch, start the clock and you'll see the tablet working in sync with the wireless dot watch 
and as we collect the splits for the warm up, you can see they appear. Now we've set it for 25 splits, so we're doing a 400, so it's quite a lot of splits. But just zip through those. So now we can see we've completed the first of the 200s. We've got a counter to keep us track of where we are in the set. So we would then right click to stop the watch and then reset it. So that's a bit unusual. You'll be used to doing something different on a standard stopwatch, but that's just how things work for now. And then with both counters reset, we can start the process again. collect the, the warm-up. So we'll just zip through this. So here we now see we've collected the time and we've moved on to the second element on the swim set. So we're off to do the 8200 swim and we're off to start the first one. So again to reset things we press the right button to stop the wireless dot watch and then reset and then we're ready to go again. So when you're finished you would simply um, un, uh, un, unconnect the, uh, disconnect the uh, battery and the same for the, the Pi. And if we go back to the device and refresh the page we will now see the Pi is not connected. So that's that concludes this introduction to setting up the wireless dot watch.